This is Amelia, your Canva Community Canvassador. Let's review how to edit colors, elements, and backgrounds in Canva. Now before I begin, if you find this video helpful, remember to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Let's get started. So this is another graphic that I created using a template, but I want to change it up a bit. I'm not crazy about the colors and I um, want to change some of these graphics. So all I'm doing is clicking and pressing delete. And as you can see, I can't click on this particular graphic down here. So either it's grouped with something else or something's layered on top of it. So let me just see here if I move this over, then I can get to it. Again, just gonna click and delete. Okay, so this orange area is actually part of the background, but let me go ahead and select background color and I'll pick like a greenish. I would like to change the colors of the font and the lines here. So I'm gonna go ahead and click here and select a darker green here. And I think I'm gonna go with maybe black here. Let's see, that looks good. Next, let's just add a couple elements here. This time I'm gonna search. I'm going to type in, I'd like to put a few in that are related to the text. So I'm gonna type in yoga and we'll add a couple here. Let's see if I could find something that matches with like green. This'll do, make that a little smaller. Type in the word organize, perfect. And don't know if it'll let me change the color of this graphic, but let's try it. Now this one does say pro. So again, if you're using the free version um, and you see a pro graphic that you like, you're probably gonna be able to see how much it costs to purchase that graphic. Let me go ahead and select this graphic make it a little smaller and ooh, yes, it actually does let me change the colors here. So let me just change that up to green. Looks better. Perfect. And let's see, I want to add one more graphic. Again, I'm clicking elements, search for business and perfect. This one here, see what I mean about the pro? You're gonna be tempted and tempted over and over. And you're gonna see excellent, wonderful graphics that you're gonna to wanna to use. And um, therefore, after, I would try, start with the free version and that might suffice for you. But if you're gonna use it quite a bit for business, it may be worth investing in the uh, pro version. Forgot to mention that it automatically saves, which is excellent. Okay, and if you wanted to, you can change the name of your graphic. Let's just put, uh, call this to-do list graphic. At any time, if you're ready to download, click share, download, select a file type such as ping, JPEG, or PDF, then click download. To exit from this menu anytime, just click outside the area. And I always like to make sure in this title bar that it has saved to the cloud. Providing it says all changes saved, it's safe to go ahead and click on the X here. Now I've returned back to the original tab and from the Canva dashboard, I'll scroll down. Now I've already refreshed and you can see that the most recent graphic that I worked on is listed at the beginning of recent designs. If you want to edit a previously created graphic, just single click on the graphic and momentarily the graphic will open for you to edit. And if you're on your computer, it will open up in a new tab. If you're using the mobile app, it will open up on your mobile device for you to edit the graphic. Now, in this case, we want to make a couple more changes. I'd like to change the background and I'm going to increase the zoom and notice that Based on the original template, there's actually some stray orange shapes. If I uh, move this layer around, you'll see the shape. So with this particular layer selected, I'm gonna press the delete key 
and you'll notice that those shapes have now been removed. Well, let's reduce the zoom just a little bit so we can see most of the graphic. And at this point, I want to make sure that the background is selected. I don't want to have any other objects selected, so I'm just going to select on the background. And I'll click on the background option here to see the available backgrounds. Now you can certainly select a pattern background, but you don't want it to be too, too busy. But let's explore some of the options here for backgrounds. You have landscapes and patterns, gradients, abstract. You can also search for backgrounds. So let's try something really busy, this right here. And by changing that, you can see that that's way too busy. So I'm gonna hit Control Z and undo that. There's also an undo arrow up here that you can use. Now I'd like to explore some of the planar backgrounds. So if I go with, I'll just go with something solid and light colored. Let's try yellow. And you'll notice that it still has a two-tone background. Let's go ahead and try white. Okay, now that changed it to solid white. So you may have to play around with the solid colors, especially if it had a two-tone on the template. So in this case, I'm gonna search for light green pattern. Okay, and I'll go ahead and select this first pattern. And let me just select a couple more so you can get an idea of how easy it is to change the background. Now some of these, even though I search for green, is not green, but uh, sometimes the matches will not be exact, but uh, you can explore and put in a couple different types of search terms. Let's try this gradient one here, and I'll scroll down, and we'll just explore a couple more. So as you can see, it's pretty easy to change the background. I'm gonna go back to my original pattern. Actually, let's try this second pattern one. Okay, and I'm gonna go ahead and keep that particular background. And, you know, it's easy enough if you wanted to change text, just double click, single click to position the cursor. You can also triple click to select all text if you wanted to replace all text in the text box. Um, these are particular objects. So again, it's easy enough just like any other editing tool to replace any of the objects or the text. And again, once you're finished, you can download if necessary, or you can just click with the X to close the graphic and return back to the Canva dashboard. If you found this video helpful, go ahead and smash the like button and remember to subscribe so you don't miss any new videos. Bye now.